Thank you for joining us for part two in the portrait of a dysfunctional family. If you haven't seen part one, please stop now and go watch it first. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest videos. Today we are going to be talking about how substance abuse affects the children and the roles they play in a dysfunctional family. When neither parent functions properly, the children lack the care and attention that they need growing up with emotional wounds. Each child will react to this lack of attention in their own way. Let's first take a look at Daryl. He's the overachiever, the hero of the family. People wonder how he is related to the rest of his family. He overcompensates for the slack in his family. Daryl appears to be confident and capable, but these hurts can keep him from an intimate relationship. He would typically feel driven to help care for others as he grows up, but this can potentially result in the resisting the help that he needs desperately. Let's take a look at Bubba. Bubba is the opposite of Daryl. He doesn't even try to live up to Daryl's accomplishments. His attitude is that rules are made to be broken. He is considered the scapegoat, drawing attention away from Willie. To Bubba, negative attention is better than no attention. As a teenager, he is likely to experiment with drugs and alcohol. Since he can't get his approval from his parents, he gets it from his peers. Bubba will probably grow up making poor decisions. Although physically an adult, he remains a child emotionally and mentally. Now Sissy is the lost child. Growing up, she usually played alone, being shy and withdrawn, never causing problems. She dislikes confrontation and fights. And as a teenager, she is likely to look to the opposite sex for the love that she is in need of. Sissy marries young and has babies in an effort to feel needed. She finds a false sense of security in being weak and needy. Now Jerry is probably the easy one to pick out of the group. Jerry is the class clown mascot. He hides his pain and frustration by making jokes. He uses the humor to manipulate people and avoid conflict. He will make fun of others since he sees no other outlet to diffuse his anger and hurt. As an adult, Jerry will lack problem-solving skills and his commitments in life will probably be no more than lip service. So let's wrap this up. In summary, we see that Willie is not the only one sick in the family. He may be the only one with a chemical dependency problem, but the entire family is seriously affected by it. Every member has attempted to find love, acceptance, and significance through unhealthy means. Each family member needs to learn new, healthy, and nurturing ways of relating to one another. Are you a child or sibling that has been affected by substance abuse in the family? If so, let us know what role you identify with and how it has affected you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updates on our latest releases and be sure to check out our other videos. Let us know what you think in the comments below and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.